You got my word. You beg me on this, I beg you. The first thing I saw in the stash house sequence was a moment of real-time action taking place over like 10 to 15 pages. Usually we're jumping around in time or jumping back and forward in time. So knowing that we were going to be locked into this moment, it was the perfect opportunity to just run one long take where a lot of things are happening, a lot of variables are, are at play. We follow Cole in a one-take gauntlet through the projects, dodging cops, dodging armed clockers, dodging gunfire. The process of walking through it and all the extras in the background and all the things that are happening was actually pretty wild and hard to manage. So we had maps drawn, like I had maps drawn the path, where these things were gonna happen so everyone can look at it from the top down, understand how this whole choreography was gonna play out. You get that many people all together at once reenacting essentially a riot, anything can go wrong. Even if we already know that Cole survived because we've been seeing him in 2012 interrogations, it was extremely important that the tension is maintained throughout so that as an audience, you're able to experience whatever fear he might be having at that moment, but also experience the consequences of that decision. 